one of the best uses of AI that I've seen. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Are you using AI and you think, is it just for fun or giggles? Or is there actually something where I can use it purposefully, usefully in my life? Well, today I want to show you something that is super easy. It is mind blowing and it just works. Yes, it is from Adobe, but still check it out because it's really good. And for everybody who says, oh, this might be a paid video, completely not. I just want to show you the AI function. This is just me informing you. Let's get started. So here I am in Lightroom, not Lightroom Classic, Lightroom. So this is the image that I have edited. It's not the original shot. This is the original shot. As you can see, the colors are not so good. The shadows are too dark. There is actually people here in my shot. I don't want to have that. So the colors and the removal of the people, all of that is AI. And there's a lot of specialty to that that we want to check out today. So let's have a look on how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to check out with you is that we can adjust the colors before that maybe crop the image real quick. So we have here the crop icon. You can click on that and then I can set here a different ratio. So we have a nicer look at that. And then also I can straighten the image a little bit. Let's see. Um, I would say this looks straight. Okay, cool. Let's hit enter. And there we have a better shot. Now we don't have good colors and you can of course hand adjust everything over there, but you can also use AI over here on the top. You click on that for presets. This will analyze the image for you. And then you have a ton, a ton, a ton of presets that are coming from the community. Now, not all of them are good. You have to go through them and check them out and find something you like. By the way, one thing to point out here is that these community presets you can only use if the image has been uploaded to their cloud. And of course, this is kind of like a technique to get you to upgrade your cloud storage. So, meh. but still there's a free allotment you can use. And I guess you can afterwards remove the images from the cloud to free up the space. Let's go on with the tutorial. Also up here, you have different categories. Like for example, you have a subtle adjustment. It's not as extreme as before. It's a little bit extreme, but for example, here you have a bit of a vignette around that. So you can take ideas from different adjustments and apply them to your photo. Also here you have, for example, just black and white settings. So you can see different kind of edits in black and white. That might also be a very interesting inspiration for you. And so there's different categories that you can choose from of what you want to have. There's also cool categories. There is warm categories for the color that is. There is dark and bright ones. So there's a lot to choose from that can give you some interesting ideas of what the image can be. And of course, if you want, you can generate different variations of the same image. And by that have multiple versions of that image that might be interesting for different purposes or even maybe for different customers if you want to upload that to stock pages. For example, this one looks a little bit like a vintage picture, I would say, or this one even. By the way, as you know, as you maybe have noticed down here, I have this little bob here because there seems to be some dust on my sensor. So we can remove that. So let's choose a setting here for the colors. I think this one is similar to the one that I use. So I let's apply this. When I click on that, you can see that below that I have a slider that allows me to apply apply this more or less so I can actually have it a little bit less. Still, as you can see, there is very dark shadows here, but that's not a problem because over here you have adjustments here for the shadows and so on. However, what you can also do is you can go over here for the masking. Let's click on masking real click. And here we have another AI function. So up here you have different buttons that you can use. Here I have sky. I click on sky. This will select it for me. So now only the sky is selected. But of course, I want actually the inversion of that. So I go onto that and say here that I want to invert the sky selection. And just like that, I have all of my landscape but none of the sky. With this selected, I can go down here and for example, push up the shadows to make them a lot brighter if I want to, to get it like this. And maybe now the saturation is a little bit on the heavy side, so we can reduce it a little bit like that. And you can also do more adjustments if you want to. Now you can also, of course, do more because we have the people in here that we don't want to have. So there's two options on how you can do that. First of all, you, you have here the remove tool. With the remove tool, you have 
an option here directly that says use generative AI, which is already pretty amazing. You can turn this on and off if you want to. And with that, you select the area. By the way, selecting the area, you can make it bigger or smaller for your brush just by using your mouse wheel. This is one of the best things ever because other softwares want you to use some kind of key combinations here. It's just a mouse wheel that is very, very useful. So I circle that and then over here I click on remove and this will then generate different versions for me. I have three different versions to choose from. In this case, of course, there's not much to see, so I can use either of these versions. However, for the people, you have another version here to do that. Down here you have people, and this will select or choose the people, find the people for you. And with that, you can select them. And you can also here, for example, it identified a sculpture as a person. I don't want to have that. So we can right click and delete that. Here, the people are a little bit too small. I want to also delete that. And also in this case, I want to delete that and do that separately afterwards. The rest might be okay. So look at the people as it has been selected. So one thing you can see here is it selects not just the person, but also the shadow of the person, which is very useful. Also over here, I want you to notice that the guy is standing in front of a tree. So the tree trunk is covered by the person. We don't see the tree trunk. So let's click on remove here. And as you can see, really, really good work, like really amazing. The person is gone, the shadow is gone, really nice. Also up here, the people are gone, it replaced the background. Now over here, like I told you with the tree trunk, it made not just a tree trunk, it made a perfect tree trunk in the exact same colors and light and shadow. Everything is fitting in here as it should. That is the amazing part. Not just removing it, but replacing it with something that is really stunning. And if you don't want that, you can click here and go back and retry. Or you can here have the original view so you see what's going on. You can see how well this has been replaced. Also, as you can see, it replaced some part of the bush here also very useful. Now, the reason why I didn't select the people back here is because they are standing in front of stuff that's a little bit more intricate. So I want to take care of that myself. So I go up here to the removal tool. I set the size to smaller. So I hardly cover the person here, select just the person, and then I click on remove. And this will generate three versions for me each so I can cycle through them. And if I don't like that, I can still go back. So you can see here for that person, you can see that one, the third one I like most. The second one is good, but there's a little bit too much light in there. And then the third one created some architecture here. I don't want to have one. The first one actually created some architecture. So this one actually made it perfect. Colorize, architecture wise, everything really, really good. Now let's go here for that person and then click here on remove. And boom, it's gone. And we can again cycle through it, which did we like most? Maybe in this case, I like the second one most because here the cut is the nicest. And then we go here for that guy and he's gone and it's just perfect. Look at that. Look at the bushes in the background, how this has replaced these bushes like perfectly, not just like a little bit, but actually perfectly. He has his back here on the ground. Also not good. Let's remove that again really good. And now we have these two people here. Now that is a little bit more tricky, to be honest, we're gonna give it a shot. Let's take the shadows too, and then remove that. And here we do have three versions. As you can see, the first one, the second one, the third one, and the third one is actually really good. And like what is amazing here, and I don't know how it does that. You see here these two lines. And you see here these two lines. So it understood that this architectural element here is has no decorations on it, but it has these two lines like over here. And that is really, really stunning. Now, one problem we have here is it didn't copy the water. It didn't generate a water stream. So to fix that situation up here, you can go here to the stamp or clone tool. You click on that and then you want to make a hook here for show overlay on hover. So for that, we're going to select this area here. And then, as you can see, it suggests the area over here, but that is not the correct area. So we move that a little bit over until it's lining up and then we let go 
and there you go perfect the person is gone the water is there everything looks just fine so here we have the result and I would say that's pretty much perfect again this is the original image bad colors lots of people there and then we have this magic result used with AI and personally I have to say that's probably one of the best uses of AI that I have seen that actually also integrates your real life experiences but improves them enhances them in a nice way leave a like if you enjoyed this video write in the comments what do you think or maybe you use other tools that maybe are even free and thanks for watching the video bye